are new and in this video I am super super excited but first I did want to say thank you so much to Google for sponsoring this video so in honor of Hispanic Heritage Month I'm gonna bring you guys with me shopping at one of my favorite Latino owned small businesses right here in my very own neighborhood I think it's super important to support your local small businesses because they really are like the backbone to your community I don't know about you but I Google absolutely everything including any businesses that I visit just to make sure that I have the right time the right days that they're open as well as their location and reviews and I know you guys feel me on the reviews so Google my business is definitely the first proud dueño move to really put your business on the map so Erica is definitely making some proud dueño moves and I wanted to share her story to inspire you guys because she literally went from a trailer to a brick and mortar. We are gonna go over there and visit her and she actually has already started bringing in some fall pieces so I thought it was the perfect chance to kind of do a little styling, transitioning from summer into fall kind of wardrobe. We definitely have a lot going on today so let's go ahead and head on over and then we'll come back here and we'll do a little outfit styling. Let's go. So we made it to Gypsy Queen. Let's go see what we find. We're going to be looking at some fall fashion. I'm so excited to show you what I have here for the fall and what we're transitioning to from the summer. can't believe your store. Oh my god, I remember when you first started. In the trailer. Yeah. Yes, we have come a long way. This is my OG location. This is like the fitting room. Google My Business has actually helped me transition from a trailer to a storefront because now my customers can know exactly where I'm at, my times that I'm open. Also, they could get reviews. So a lot of people who haven't been to Gypsy Queen use Google for information on my store prior to even coming so it's also helped me gain like new customers I think it's so amazing to have this kind of boutique in Downey there's nothing else like that also my vision for the store was to be different than the generic stores out there Downey's so special that I wanted to bring something special to Downey yeah. and for the girls in the community and people here to like shop and have a different experience than they usually do really you're like nailing that yeah, for sure it's like you. such unique pieces you have a little bit of vintage the inspo first for the store is I went to my first Coachella and so after Coachella I got really inspired by like the fashion there and at the time boho was like super huge yeah so I was like okay like Downey girls don't really have any place to shop local right so for Coachella or festivals mm -hmm. in general besides like Melrose and far yeah. so I was like let me first bring that fashion to Downey so it's easy and accessible for the mm -hmm. girls. And that's what like basically started off a whole boutique here. So you do all the buying, yes, right? Yes, I do, yes. So what do you have in store for fall? I know leopard has been a thing, but I yeah. feel like leopard is like coming back again. So I brought a lot of like bodysuits in, also two painter suits or like mm -hmm. the jumpsuits. Jump suit. Yeah, I've been seeing that everywhere. So we got some for the store. Remember the old utility bills we used to yes. wear with the metal? <laughs> yeah, they've been wearing that. I you. love this so much. Isn't it I mean, so like, cute? I, I know. <laughs> so I found some amazing pieces here. I'm about to try them on. So cute. I love this. Definitely such a great piece to transition from summer to fall. I'm so excited to style these pieces. I always find the cutest things here. I cannot wait to see you wearing them. I know you're going to crush it with the way you style them. It gets me so happy that you always continue to support me. And I can say the same. I feel like how you were saying that you really tried to set yourself apart. You've really done that mm -hmm. with like the interaction that you have with your customers and yeah, I the engagement online. Yeah, I love seeing my customers. I call them my gypsy babes. And I really love to create a friendship with all of them. And I feel like that's a key part of my success is how personable I am with each and every one of yeah, them. Yeah, definitely. So considering that Google is free and easy for a small business owner like myself, I definitely am going to be using it when I decide to open my second location for the customers to easily find the second location. So like I said, I think it's super important to support your local businesses. So if you have a favorite Latino-owned small business, make sure to let them know about Google My Business to get them 
them on the map and I will also have that link in the description box down below. Let's go ahead and get started with the try on. I ended up picking up this set at Gypsy Queen. I feel like these biker shorts have been huge all summer and athleisure is something that we will continue to see a lot of. To make it more fall, I threw on this check blazer, which I'm sure you guys remember from my fall fashion vid last year. This is a trend that is still going to be super popular. And so from the 80s are one of the biggest trends we are seeing. I threw on heels, but I think sneakers would also be super perfect for this outfit as well. Maybe a dad sneak if you're into that. This next piece is super summery, the perfect little white eyelet dress. I absolutely love this one from Gypsy Queen. To make it more fall, pre-fall appropriate, again, I'm grabbing a belt. These silver ring details are things that we've been seeing all over the runways yet again for this autumn and winter. I love to add a little toughness to ultra feminine pieces in the fall, so I threw on a leather jacket. Western looking boots, which again, Western is looking like a huge trend yet again. And finish the look with this backpack with silver hardware to tie it all together. I'm obsessed with these wide leg pants from Gypsy Queen. I feel like the paperback trousers were such a spring and summer staple for me and this is how I would wear it in the summertime. For fall, I ended up tucking in this Adidas sweater that I had and adding my snakeskin print boots. I love adding elements of animal print. The fanny pack is still thriving so to give it more of a modern touch, I threw on this bag across my chest and ta-da, fall approps. I always say this, but accessories are truly the things that can transform your outfit. I also tried pairing it with these sunnies from Gypsy Queen, which I would highly recommend looking at their sunnies because most of my favorite trendy, funky glasses are from there, and they're all like 10 bucks, super affordable. I love this bag I got sent from Thailand, and these type of grocery looking bags are what we're seeing a lot of for fall. Jumping into the jumpsuit. Let me see what I did there. Okay, there go my dad jokes again. I love the utility suit trend. This is how I would wear it in like hotter weather. Maybe with a loafer looking slide or even sneakers would be cool. I wanted to try these boots out. Lara Croft badass kind of vibes. So for fall and also a way to dress it up, I grabbed that same belt again, which is just thrifted by the way. And I also threw on this sheer polka dot long sleeve turtleneck underneath. Paired it with some heels that looks a bit more flattering on me that I'm so petite. And I would totally wear this out at night during these transitional season period where it is still warmer in the day but chillier at night. For the last outfit, I ended up taking this cute leopard dress. I feel like this is the perfect piece to transition from summer to fall. For warmer weather, you can just wear the dress as is. Maybe throw on a chain belt and sneakers, and once it starts getting a bit more chilly, you can throw on a long sleeve or turtleneck like I did here. In LA, it doesn't start chilling out until about December, so I feel like I can totally bare my legs and wear sneakers. These chunky sneakers are staying around longer than I expected, but I am into them. Again, I grabbed these cute sunglasses glasses which are my favorite at the moment from Gypsy Queen. I feel like they're the type of sunnies that make anyone look cool. I'm totally fooling you all. And for bag, again, the ring detail is all over the runways so I thought it was the perfect addition to this outfit. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the outfits, meeting Erica, as well as visiting the boutique. Once again, thank you so much to Google for sponsoring this video. I really hope you guys get out there and support your Latina-owned small businesses. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!